Today's been a bit of a series of unfortunate events. This morning we woke up about 4 to get ready to meet the driver for 4.30 to go on the Yala Safari. Now for both me and Barry this is one of our like highlight experiences that we were most really looking forward to. Yet see leopards, bears, a few elephants, so it was like the animals, really excited to go. And unfortunately we were trying to find an ATM, none of the ATMs were working so we're already running behind. Finally find an ATM, no drama. And then we get in our van, we're making our way down the path into the National Park and we slow down. And as we slow down, driver gets out, pops the hood, van's broken. So the safari jeep is literally broken. We're stuck, we're not even close. It's been like 20 minutes and then our guide just was like, we can get another car out here. So we're asking our guide and we said, is it worth still going? Because we were told that like, you go in the morning, you go and it's like dark, so you can like see them, they're nocturnal, yada yada. So then he was like, well, you might see them, you might not. And obviously this tour is quite expensive. I think it's 70 pounds each. So we're kind of like, mm, I don't want to blow 70 pounds if we're not guaranteed to see anything. And obviously we did see the elephants the other day. So we were kind of like, we, the leopards is what we really wanted to see. Can't confirm anything, but he couldn't tell us like the density of the. Okay, so we're sharing from the future here. After getting back to the hotel and looking into it a little bit more, Yala actually has the highest concentration of leopards in the world. So, if this happens to you on your journey, get the replacement vehicle, go there because your chances of seeing leopards are so high. Obviously, again, doing my research after because our guide didn't give us that information. We went in February, which is actually one of the best times to see them as well. So had we gone, we would have seen leopards. The chances of you seeing leopards is one of the highest in the whole entire world. So, well, like naturally anyway, like not in a cage. So yeah, we live and we learn, right? So we're at the hotel now, we're packing our bags and I think we're gonna make our way to Marissa, spend the day at the beach and hopefully the rest of the day will be a bit better. But so far it's just been like a series of unfortunate events. But Onwards and upwards, this stuff happens when you're travelling, can't control it, just gotta move on, see you in a bit. tell you I actually forgot that we tried to do the safari this morning so we tried to do the safari van broke down got back to the hotel moved on we slept the whole way and now we're Marissa Marissa is gorgeous as expected Sri Lanka is now up here on one of my top favorite places in the whole world like it's just gorgeous everywhere you look the people are incredible it's just oh, if it's not on your list it has to be it's absolutely incredible so yeah so we're Marissa we're the beach is like here um, and it's just stunning, golden, long, there's surf shops, there's whale tours, there's everything, cocktail bars. And tonight there's a party and we got invited to the party on the beach, which we're really looking forward to. It actually started off quite cloudy and so we were a little bit disappointed about that because we were like, we're at the beach, we didn't see the leopards, it's cloudy, but like after no time, sun came out and that is hot. I think every day we're here it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. I think it's about 36 today. Um, the little old me, it's hot, it's very hot. Today's plan was to do surfing. Like I really wanted to do surfing whilst in Sri Lanka because obviously it's, I'm a surfer girl now. Uh, did it once in Bali, now a surfer. But I'm so exhausted from waking up so early that I just, I just couldn't. But we have booked on to do the whale tour tomorrow. They've spoken to us, uh, they said it's very ethical. We've had a look online, loads of good reviews with the company that we're going for. So fingers crossed, um, it will be an ethical trip. Otherwise, I'm not gonna forgive myself, but Loving it so far. Relaxing afternoon now. And then this evening, beach party.